politics now and the story making waves across Utah today. Former Republican candidate for governor Phil Lyman is teaming up with Democratic nominee Brian King against Governor Cox's reelection bid. The two taped an ad together, this one right here, and posted it online this morning. It seems to parody Cox's own ad with his former Democratic rival, Chris Peterson, in 2020. In the ad, the two say they don't agree on much, but neither of them wants to see Governor Cox reelected. Now, we spoke with Brian King and Phil Lyman on the ad, and here's what they told us. There's a civil war that's going on across the country among the, the members of the Republican Party, but it's particularly uh, acute and it's particularly visible here in the state of Utah. And you see it with the Lyman supporters and voters uh, in their primary and in their convention. And you see it with Spencer Cox, who uh, has the establishment uh, Republican uh, power brokers behind him. It is a campaign. He's campaigning. He's trying to get influence. Uh, and that, that means getting uh, you know eyes on your stuff. Uh, I'm also running a campaign. That means influence for me. Um, getting eyes on my stuff. I love getting out of the echo chamber, which is hard to do on social media. Well, this comes on the heels of Lyman losing his Supreme Court appeal to remove the governor from office and announcing that he plans to run as a write-in candidate. Utah Republican Party leaders have spoken against that campaign, and today the party chairman, Robert Axon, condemned the ad. I absolutely think that this will provide a small uh, benefit to uh, Brian King and his candidacy for governor. Uh, I, I don't think it's anywhere near what would be required to close the gap and to catch up. Uh, but again, that's not the point. If you believe in the principles of the Republican Party, you don't work against the candidates and the nominees for the Republican Party. Well, the Cox campaign also hit back today. They shared a statement with us that reads in part, losing is hard but encouraging others to elect someone who believes in a Gavin Newsom style of government is the wrong solution for Utah. And